All right, Fred, let's give this a shot. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I want to see what's going to happen. So, I, and yet again, I got to the point where I was about to figure out um, the Russian troops. I was like, no, let's, you know, wait until I can do it live or whatever, you know what I mean? Excuse me. So here we go, and I hope, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if there, like, will there be, anyways, I'm going to zoom in now. I just wanted you to get a bit of a whatever. And here we go. This will be my first test for a lot of things. Well, not a lot of things, but a fair amount of things. Um, just due to the fact that... Um, here, let's, yeah, I think that's... Mm, I just want you to get that tiny little... There we go. How's that? We'll see if that works. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's remove these guys and then we'll find. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to be trying this crazy little enticement thing, and also it's my first test as a risk taker for. Um, God, I can hear Captain Kirk. Um, so here we go, 1804, eh? number 33. Okay, hold on. Let me write that down. Um, you know, this is the first test for me in the sense of. Uh, for my exam, I guess, in a sense, because, um, you know, I'm going to do that uh, weird thing with the dice, so, uh, and, the, and the cubes, so, hmm. Anyways, let's, I'll tell you what's, uh, you know, who's on first and all that stuff. So, at 1704, these guys, BG-14, uh, they're the 36th Infantry Division, and they're normally uh, an 8-5, but they're, they've been uh, dropped down to 4 strength points over time. And there's also the 19th Landwehr Brigade. Uh, they're normally a 2-4, and they are a 2-4, so everybody's happy there. Um, over here in BG-8, that's the 6th Landwehr Brigade, and they're a uh, 2-4, and they're also uh, 2 strength points, so they're at full strength. Um, is it Core HQ-3? So Core HQ3, 71 over here, has got four supply points, and it can fully supply the attack. That's four uh, movement points across. Um, uh, one uh, supply point um, can supply four um, strength points for an attack. Uh, core HQs can only supply a maximum at all Core HQs for an attack. So you can have 20 if you want. I mean, well, it would be impossible to do, but you know what I mean. You can have like a... T uh, so the most this Core HQ can use um, is two supply points for an attack in a turn. And so it can fully supply these guys. And now we're going to play with the, uh, the funny dice once we figure out what's going on. With and... They can only, re uh, if I did it properly, they can, yeah, they can only defend across broken terrain, which will give um, the Germans uh, a minus one to their die roll, but the defender will get nothing. Okay, so let's find out what Russian 33 is. I have no idea. All right. God, I love this stuff, man. I'm sorry, like I said, yet again with the, oh, it's one, one strength point. It's the um, 162nd Infantry Regiment, which uh, originally were from the 1st Brigade, or, well they are, from the 1st Brigade of the 41st Infantry Division, and they obviously experienced, uh, they're part of a divisional breakdown in a prior turn. And that's why I love record keeping all this stuff, so I can look it up and go, okay, you were part of the 41st. Anyway, so there you are. Now let's go and take a look at the odds and see what we can do with Wonderland. Alrighty, I'm going to zoom out again and then I'll zoom back in. I think that seems to be the better way of doing this thing here. Alright, so, 8. I got it. Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, I have a 100% chance of hitting them. Hmm. So what, was, what would be the point? Um, geez, that's a good thing to remember, isn't it? Wow. Um, okay, let's just for fun. I'm not going to do it then. I mean, I'd be an idiot. Um, but so we'll do the we'll do the two ways. I'm gonna you know obviously I'm gonna roll normally. There's no point. I mean, what's uh, uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, my pink, my pink cube. I keep forgetting about this sucker. Um, hopefully it's not too, because uh, it is a bit glary. It'll be the only thing that's glary. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, no? Let's go a bit more. Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, as far as if I, if I did this correctly, that's eight strength points. Um, even with a minus one, they'll get down to a zero. They still do a one, uh, one hit, which will, you know, normally would have forced if they were like at, uh, if, um, uh, sorry, the, excuse me, oh, I should have, shouldn't have put them away. There they are. If, uh, that 162nd Infantry Regiment, for example, you know, was, uh, hadn't been stripped down to a regiment, maybe they were still a brigade or the first or the second brigade, maybe they would have had, you know, two or three strength points, still wouldn't have mattered, they would have had to retreat, but now they'll be obliterated. Which means the Germans can, um, you know, move on in, but, uh, I was also thinking, um, on a side note, I don't know, you know, let's zoom out again here, um, I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but I was thinking at first, I was like, why didn't you um, advance into here, Chris? You could have moved these guys when you did the divisional breakdown, and you could have, you know, I don't know. Part of me, I think, is I'm trying to yet again, in you know, I'll move out again, again. Um, part of me, I think, so I'm, tr I'm trying to kind of also entice, like, come on, you guys come out this way. But I am a little worried. They're getting, you know, that's a bit, I mean, maybe they'll do a concentrated effort. I don't know what they're going to do. But, yeah, part of me is like, I don't know if you should have left that space. But part of me, uh, like I said, it's like, you come see us. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not the way to do it. Yet again, it would be somebody else would say, no, I would have, um, oh, shoot, sorry. I don't like going so abrupt. Um, excuse me. All right, so here we go. So yeah, it's a hundred percent chance. So I'll roll any. I mean, what's the point though? But um, uh, let's see here. And I'll just zoom out. Wow, eh? This maybe this die is a crazy die for the last uh, for November. That's awesome. Um, so I'll talk about overkill, um, so, um, sit, well, no, no, I'm not saying overkill, it's still one hit, so, okay, so that means the, um, 162nd, uh, infantry regiment for the Russians, um, will be destroyed, and we'll see what happens, but they can still, um, they still get the counterattack with one strength point, um, unsupplied, so they're right back down to one. <coughs> and there's um, no chance in hell they can do anything with a one. They need a, a die roll modifier. So that was so that's that. But let's let's pretend. Let's have let's pretend. Let's have some fun for Christ's sakes, just to see what would have happened. Uh, it kind of sucks. I mean, it's going to be a, there's going to be a time at which it's going to have to happen. All right, so what did I want to do first? Oh, yeah, I've got to do the cubes. Let's see how far we can push the luck here. Let me get some uh, socks, or a sock with some cubes in it. I'm going to make sure it's got the... Yeah, these Air Canada socks, Charles. Um, what can I say? Uh, I got bumped up to business class once, and after that I never looked back. I've never flown economy since... Um, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that was just a, oh my god, I was like, wow, you treat me like a human being. You know my name. Um, I got served real food. Um, uh, yeah, it was just, you know, it was comfy. I, I felt awake. I remember arriving in London, you know, for the first time ever, because I always had to take the red light, uh, red, red eye flight and stuff, and just due to the fact of the flights from Ottawa, but, um, so there we go. Anyways, yeah, I've never looked back. I was like, screw this crap. Which means it's, uh, I don't fly a lot. <laughs> Obviously, Jesus Murphy. This is expensive as hell, but jeez. And real cutlery, and oh, jeez. 
I, I remember the first time I ate something there. I swear to God, they had like the chef was must have been hanging out in the cabin. The food was so good. It was just nuts. Okay, so let's see if we can move it, shift it over to the nine. And what would have happened? Oh, Jesus, Murphy, man, what is so? Uh, hi, yi, yi. So okay, so yeah, we'll just end it here. Then, um, well, I'll do the advance, whatever. So that would have meant, um that for the counterattack, the Russians would have been able to shift theirs to the right. So it's always going to be um, whatever you were trying for, but you failed, um, the, op the, the defender gets to counterattack with uh, assuming that you had succeeded on that attempt. So if you were going, if you had done three column shifts over and also um, uh, did the doubling down die three times and works, uh, successful and then you went for the fourth uh, shift and failed that means on the counterattack um, they would get four extra strength points to be calculated in for the die roll at the end not for you know uh, counterattacking strength points I mean I think that would be awfully important um, but they would also get that um, they would get that plus three or plus four or whatever I can't remember what number I was using anymore so there we go all right, so now we're going to uh, uh, remove the 33. I'll bring it back in a bit. Or, no? No, we're all right, I think, eh? Yeah. You don't need to see all these funky things. Oh, my God, I used my fingers. Hold on. So who's going to move? I think it should be the 36th, <coughs> excuse me, the 36th. Infantry Division, or I could send the 19th Landwehr Brigade and the 6th Landwehr Brigade. Um, oh yeah, I have to do it properly. It's got to be, uh, so it would have to be the 36th Infantry Division, because they're down to the reduced size. The other guys are at full strength, as far as I know. Or at least I think Dave Schroeder would kind of uh, nod in agreement. So that means um, I have to, okay, these guys are gone. I, um, okay. And then that means uh, partially some of these guys go over uh, the 36th. Do I want them all over? Nah, let's, nah, let's keep some there. So that means the, so I have to come up with another number. Hold on. 83, first one I saw. All right, so 83, you're now going to be the 36th. Infantry Division, and you advance into across the Palika River to 1804. Interesting. These guys are kind of going. Um, <clears throat> can we go somewhere now, please? Uh, C1. I uh, gotta get some stuff. Oh, that was a bit of a bummer. Well, it's eventually gonna happen. I mean, we're gonna have some crazy stuff happening later, and the closer I get to finishing this, the better. Um, to find, you know, finding out the initiative and away we go, which would be wonderful. Uh, okay, hold on, I'm gonna get some strength points and all that stuff again. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so you're four. You're down to a two. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that would be um, not a good thing. Cheapers. Uh, where are you? There we go. Down to two. But effective. It's what we wanted to do. We saw an opportunity to isolate. Uh, or uh, to concentrate our attack, use the debo uh, the train kind of to our advantage, and uh, away we go. Um, hmm, would it, that have been better now? I don't know. Maybe it's starting to look better. I should have moved, um, here I'll zoom out a bit since it's all over now. Yeah. Maybe I should have moved in more. It would have been more of a... Oh, shoot. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, yet again. So, 
that's it. Uh, we'll just I'll just have to do. Um, well, I should say just have to do, but I have to, you know I got work in a little bit. Um, what? This thing's gonna probably get jerked like hell. So yeah, we just need to go into there. Yeah, and then I gotta do all that stuff. So all right, we're getting there. Happy Thursday, Tubes.